people ask me all the time about some of the good things that I find when I'm doing inspection, things that I like to see. Uh, a couple things in this attic that I really like to see, I wanna show you. So this is a final inspection. The house is pretty big, maybe 3,000 square feet. A couple things that I really like to see. Uh, that makeup air controller has been completely unstuck, fallen down. They did a really good job of installing that so that it would fall. Um, I, speaking of uh, installation, they did an awesome job of not installing this. I really like the way that they don't have it secured to a block. You can see that the one over here, uh, it is secured. So opening this little scuttle hatch, something else that I really like to see in this attic space is that it actually connects to your subfloor. Yeah, all the way through there. I'm sure the fire inspector would love to see this. Oh, that's fantastic. Not blocked at all. Plus, <clears throat> this is gonna be really cold in the winter time when this attic is freezing and all that cold air is on top of that ceiling. Something else that I really, really, really love the way they've done is the design of this wall. You can see how it comes down. You got two by four studs bearing onto a two by 10, two by 10 plate. And this two by 10 plate is actually cantilevered just over half of its width onto these joists. So it, the, true craftsmanship here. I mean, really, really well done. The managed, the way that they manage to ensure that this sill plate hangs from these studs. Off. Oh, I, I tell you, I wish I could take classes from, from these guys. And here's something else that I love to see. Gusset plates that are all messed up. So take note, those of you who are wanting to build a house that is structurally unsound and insecure, all you have to do is disconnect these truss cord to web connections by bending the gusset plates back. Easy peasy. This thing will not stand a chance in a tornado. Something else that I really love to see here on final inspections. Final inspections. This is right before the house gets gets moved into. I love to see, first of all, drain covers that are loose. But in addition to that, I love seeing shower drains that are just so full of debris that you can't even test them. Because when, when you're a builder and you want the shower to fill up and overflow, this is what you have to do. I mean, there's no other way. You have to clog the drain. If a builder's trying to flood the house, a good way to do that is with the AC. Here at this one, you can see that there's already water in the drain pan. Well done, builder. House not even finished and you're already trying to flood it. Now there's several steps that it would have to take to actually spill over this drain pan. <clears throat> First of all, the cutoff switch, the kill switch, would have to not be properly installed and or fail. And the secondary drain, this white one here, would have to clog up as well. So there's a few fail safes, but that's okay because I think if the builder really puts his mind to it, they could, uh, they could do a good job and, and flood this house. Another thing I love to see are builders' attempts to try to get the shingles to blow off of a roof. You can see across the street from where I'm at the neighbor's house, they did a pretty good job of that. And over here on the job that I'm on, they're getting it started, getting it started. So do you see what I see? This white, this white, that's because the tar has stuck to the plastic wrapping of the bundle of shingles. And these aren't sticking down. This is going to blow up. <clears throat> so when the builder wants to build a roof that's going to lose its shingles one by one, this is a great way to do it. So well done, builder. Something else I really like is when the builder wants to make a shower surround that is not leak proof. 
they don't properly seal it. And you can see this builder's done a great job of not properly sealing the shower surround. If we just aim this up here and spray, that's pretty good. And last but not least, my favorite thing that I love seeing when a builder is wanting to make sure that the roof leaks are holes in the shingles especially under a valley. Every one of these pieces of orange tape is where a puncture is. Every single one is a hole from a nail that has been removed. Every one of these is a place for water to intrude into the roof. You can see, you can just imagine all the water meeting down at this convergence point here in the valley pouring down on top of this you can see they just they gave up removing the nails left that one in there there's about three dozen of these just on this corner i could tell you what happened the guys who did the brick put it on here they put the roof covering on first they nailed up rows of boards so that they could have something to stand on safely to put the brick up and they pulled them out they just they just split they took off so this is what you get when the builder tries their hardest to make the roof leak it's not that hard <laughs>